Hello, I am Patricia McQuistian, Vice President for Membership and Meetings at the Association of the United States Army, or AUSA. I retired from the Army in 2015 after 35 years of service in uniform. My last assignment was as the Deputy Commanding General of the Army Material Command, where I was privileged to have a front row view of the Army's science, technology, and industry endeavors. The Army has a rich and storied history of huge advances in science and technology, from many medical advances, to digital computing, to the origins of America's space program. Throughout its 245 years, the Army has worked with industry and leading academic and research entities to keep our nation strong. You are part of that history. When I was asked to speak to help kick off day two of this X-Tech 3 Summit, I Googled each of your companies, and I have to say, I'm glad I don't have to select the winner because all of your projects look phenomenal. I do want to say on behalf of all of us at AUSA who have been supporters of Army Innovation and the X-Tech Search program from its beginning, working with Dr. Bruce Jetty and his great team, thank you for all of your endeavors to make the Army better and our nation stronger. You are doing important work. We were very disappointed that we couldn't host the demonstration in this in-person forum as we planned to do at our Global Force Symposium in March, but we're thrilled that the competition drives on. Our friends at XTech Searched asked me to speak a little bit about the history of AUSA, why it exists, and to mention our upcoming AUSA conference in October. So AUSA's history dates back 70 years to July of 1950. The association was formed by the Army through the combined efforts of the Infantry and Field Artillery Associations at the direction of the Army Chief of Staff at the time. The first honorary president was then President of the United States, Harry S. Truman, who had been a colonel in the field artillery. There's a great note in the Army magazine that we publish that says President Truman accepted the invitation the same day it was tendered as testament to the importance of an association dedicated to the Army profession. Our purpose today remains the same as the day we were chartered and is documented in our bylaws, which read, the particular business of the Association of the United States Army shall be wholly educational, literary, scientific, fostering esprit de corps, dissemination of professional knowledge, and the promotion of the efficiency of the Army components of the armed forces of our country. I think you can see why we're so interested in supporting X-Tech search and other scientific endeavors that benefit the Army. We're a nonprofit association organized in regions and chapters that extend throughout the 50 states, four territories, and international locations interested in supporting the U.S. Army. And our membership is open to all who support the Army, all ranks, all components, those who currently serve, those who have served, those who will serve, and those who support them, including industry, academia, citizens, and families. Our motto is voice for the Army and support for the soldier. We say we perform our mission through three action verbs, educate, inform, and connect. We educate those we serve, soldiers and their families, Army civilians, retired soldiers and veterans, and the businesses and industries that support the Army with programs, products, and resources and events. We inform our members, Congress, and the American public about issues affecting America's Army, and we connect America's Army, its industry partners, like-minded associations, and other supporters at the national, region, and chapter levels. One of the biggest ways we connect the Army to multiple audiences is through the AUSA annual meeting. In more normal times, we would do that in person in the Washington DC Convention Center in October. We host the largest land power show in North America. Over three days last October, that included almost 33,000 attendees, 688 exhibitors, representatives from 98 countries, and more than 125 professional development forums. This year, it'll be a little different format, but it will include four days of Army news, seminars, and interactive virtual exhibits. Speakers will include the Secretary of Defense, the Secretary of the Army, the Chief of Staff of the Army, the Sergeant Major of the Army, and so many more. There's a tremendous amount of programming, including the next iteration of XTech search demonstrations and awards. Attendance is at no cost and registration is open at meetings.ausa.org slash annual. I've included a few early conceptual drawings. We're continuing their development, but you can be sure that XTech Search will be well represented throughout the event. We hope you'll join us 
We'd like to double or triple the number of participants this year so that more people can experience the strength that the United States Army and its partners in industries provide for our nation. Again, we wish you all successes in your endeavors and we look forward to staying connected with you. All the best.